Welcome to the Ask a Melfit Show. Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lean Fitness. If this is the first time you're being here, I really appreciate you sliding by. It means a whole hell of a lot to me. This is exactly what it looks like. You ask your fitness questions and I'll answer them. I hope that you'll drop them in the comments down below because I would love to answer them. I'm a personal trainer, registered nurse, and behavioral change specialist. All that crap aside, let's get into today's questions. It's going to be a good one. We're talking about eating a brownie, we're talking about sleeping, and we're talking about YouTube workouts. First question, I went to the gym and now I don't want a brownie. Congrats, except it's for the wrong reason. Well, crap. Let's get into it. Here we go. In the past, I've gone to the gym and I got rid of my desire to snack, okay? It's been for different reasons. And it's funny that this person mentions it because I've heard it go both ways. I've heard people say, when I start working out, then I start paying attention to the nutrition. And then I've heard it the opposite. When I start paying attention to my nutrition, I start paying attention to the working out. I start doing all the other things. So it's person dependent from what I've seen. Sometimes it just leaves me craving an apple slash something healthy. Sometimes it's because I wasn't actually hungry and getting up and moving around distracted me. But today I went to the gym, saw myself in the mirror, and realized I don't want to eat anything else for the rest of the day because I looked chubby and gross. I don't usually think of myself as gross. I think I look good but could look better. But today I felt bad about myself, and that's not the way I want to go about not eating the brownie. Smart, smart. I'm not sure what I'm looking forward to this, uh, with posting this. I guess uh, just remember to be nice to yourself. Uh, a healthy mindset matters. It not only matters, it will make or break you. Sure, it matters to eat healthy too, but I don't feel good right now despite making the healthy food choice because my mindset right now is not healthy. Holy crap. This person's super self-aware, and I hope, I hope you'll listen to me when I say this. Even the top bodybuilders in the world, they feel that there's something that they could improve, okay? The question is, I, I think most people think there's something that I can improve on me, okay? But the question is, do you let it go to a point where it is unhealthy? Do you let it dictate how you feel about yourself? What I highly encourage you to do is if you do feel like this person, and, and again, what this person's doing is great. They are, they're shifting their perspective, it seems like, because they're, they're taking note that they shouldn't do this to their self. But if you do this to yourself, if you have this problem, I would highly encourage you to think about this next time. Why are you thinking this way? Why are you treating yourself this way? And what I've always done for myself is, if I'm beating myself up or if I'm being bad to myself, uh, negative self-talk, I think about how would I speak to a loved one? How would I do that? And then why would I treat myself any differently? So you must treat yourself well. You must, you must be good to yourself because you can fix what you see in the mirror. If you can put that work in, if you can get a plan, beating yourself up doesn't improve anything. You can do it. So go get it. On to the next question. YouTube workouts. Yeah, I got some answers for you. Do you have a favorite YouTube workout video or page? Been at home and want to do a YouTube video follow along? As a matter of fact, I do. I do, I do have it. I do have some workout videos for you. So I will plug it up above here. This is a program that I put together and it's all free workouts here on YouTube. You can follow it and it's all free. If you don't like it, if you don't want it, if you wanna see some other things, I'm gonna link down below two other YouTube channels that I've found that I think are, are doing a great job at it. Uh, there's a YouTube channel called Bully Juice, B-U-L-L-Y-J-U-I-C-E. I think he's doing a great job. And I'll link that down below as well as Fitness Blender. Fitness, B-L-E-N-D-E-R, Fitness Blender. Fitness Blender is one of the biggest free workouts channels on YouTube. They are absolutely crushing it. I think they both do a good job and have a very wide variety. Between the three of us, if you can't find something that you like, I think you're SOL. Moving on to the next question and the last one. So... Today I learned why I can't sleep some nights. Fantastic, fantastic. I am always super excited for people to look into their sleep because we do not talk about recovery and sleep nearly enough in this country, in this society, in this universe, anywhere. We don't talk about it enough. I don't talk about it enough. So I'm glad we're talking about it again. My sleeping pattern as of late has been really good, thank God. But as I'm writing this at 6 a.m. with no sleep, I've been wondering why. That is so smart. So 
whatever problem you're having with sleep, with working out, with nutrition, with your body, with digestion, with whatever, ask why. Ask why. That's very smart. Why is it that tonight of all nights did my sleep pattern get disrupted? What makes the night different from other nights? Well, I finally figured it out. All right. What is it? I had the biggest bowl of sugary cereal before bed. Interesting. I've always known that sugar gives me a little energy boost and makes me talk a little more than usual. And it's become a thing with me and my friends where if I'm rambling on about something, I had a lot of sugar that day. Okay. It kind of sounds juvenile explaining, but sugar really does have a big effect on me and I'm currently paying the price, okay? The reason I know this to be true is because every night I've had sleeping problems, I consumed sugar right before bed. Mm. Whether it was soda, a hot chocolate, tea with two sugars, juice, anything with sugar keeps me up all night. Really, really now. I truly thought this only applied to children, but here I am. A, at 20, riding a sugar high. No, you're not. No, you're not. TLDR, consuming sugar before bed keeps me up at night. So here's the thing. It might be that sugar just happens to be the thing that you're consuming that is keeping you up, okay? But there is a study out there. Back in 1970, there was a study. It was on... It was super small. Anyway, there's been many more studies that have come out and said that sugar does not lead to hyperactivity. That back in the 1970s, that's when it started, and it is a myth. I will plug the study down below because I think it's super important that we clarify that sugar doesn't make you hyperactive. Sugar doesn't make you stay up at night, okay? It's not the sugar concept. It's simply that you're eating food too close to bed. So 2003 to 2018, there was a survey study and the average of about 12,572 people from ages 15 to 85 years old, it was found that when they ate or drank uh, anything less than an hour before bed, it increased their sleep fragmentation. So basically their sleep was screwed up. It wasn't necessarily the duration. It was actually kind of interesting what they found. The duration actually got a little bit longer. But the point is, is that they, they were waking up more. It was much more disturbed sleep. Uh, and they found that the further from bedtime they ate equaled more optimal sleep duration. Very, very interesting. So eating and drinking before bed, that's what impairs the sleep. So I will plug that study down below. I'll also plug the study talking about how sugar uh, causing hyperactivity is a myth that is the case. So why is this? Well, when we put food in our body, we're having to digest that. So if you take in a bunch of calories, because a big bowl of sugary cereal has a crap load of calories, that's a lot for the body to digest. That's what's happening. Blood is going to here. Digestion is happening. Body processes are happening. When it's time to crash and you introduce a whole bunch of stuff for the body to have to mess with and process, that's why you're staying up. Now, I wonder if you tried eating something that wasn't sugary. So eat a bunch of vegetables and see what happens. I guarantee you the digestion is the problem. So I wanted to correct this piece. I think it's really interesting. And I've noticed in myself that if I eat too close to bed, it ruins my sleep. Sleep, It really does. Here's the deal. If you're looking for fitness plans based in behavior change and science, it's exactly what I do. If you're looking for a nutrition guide, I even have that, an everyday nutrition guide. You can find that down below. You don't have to be perfect with this fitness thing. Just be better than yesterday every friggin' day.